Now I'm going to start. This is really, really easy upstyling, really fast when you have a lot of work in the salon. This is going to be uh, an amazing, easy technique. Uh, what we are going to use are uh, uh, cross, uh, cross uh, bowie pins, and then we are going to use a little trick with the and when the elastic band and two bobby pins. Uh, today uh, are so in trend messy up styling. So the, the first I'm going to take like naturally with with the uh, curls to the back. I'm no, I'm not going to to shape them too much. Just let the curls to move the way they want, and I'm going to start to put the crisscross hairpins one, and then cross the other in the middle. You have to be sure that you pull really well until, okay, it stops, okay? Then I'm going to put another one, and we are going to bile a change of bobby pins. Okay, this is really secure and it's really comfortable for the client because there are not a lot of tension into the scalp, so the bride is not going to cry after two hours. Okay, because it, we always have to to have in mind the client comfort. Okay, so always be nice. Remember, as many times brides are under pressure, they. They always want everything is perfect for the special day. So you, we always have to be kind, you know, like uh, talk to them nicely and make them feel that, that we are going to do the best for, the, for them, okay? Now I'm going to close the chain, the chain from the other side. I'm going to move a little bit, okay? I'm continue. I'm holding the curls. You know, uh, like you see, uh, the brides, like I said, is a big, big business. Sometimes they want to have a big chin on, but they don't have enough hair. So I'm using uh, the clip-ons, the extensions. Uh, I, I use a filler. And then I cover the filler with the uh, clip-ons. And now I'm trying to make uh, a chinon, a tall chinon, with a uh, with small kind of texture. You know, the, the, um, the curls that I already did, like this. I'm just taking, and it's, sometimes I do this, this one. I just split it. This is in fashion. You, you didn't see in the videos, everybody's doing this, or everybody's doing this, yes? So we need to be aware about what is, the, is in fashion and start doing it. Okay. Even sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I don't like the, the style, but when your customers start asking for that, it's time that you reevaluate your idea about the style and start doing it because if you don't do it, somebody's going to do it, and you are going to lose the client. Okay, now as you see, I only pulled some pieces to make it like a little bit messier, okay? And now the trick, okay? Pay attention. Now the upstyling is 90% done. I'm going to put the elastic underneath all the section. Yes, my model has a lot of hair. She's a Latina girl, okay? Take a lot of hair. <laughs> so this is an easy way to save time and, and another way to don't use a filler. I have the hair pins from, from both sides and I'm going to pull them and secure underneath the chain. That easy. It's not amazing? You like it? And then, thank you. And then I'm only going to make a twist underneath and use two hairpins, one from one side and one from the other side.
okay? Pull a little bit to make it, like you know, like it's on trend now. Let's check the balance of the upstyling. And then with random hairpins or bobby pins, we are going to finish by securing the hair, to put the hair into the place we want. As you can see, it's really fast and easy. We only have like eight minutes by now doing this upstyling. You know, it's really, really fast. And the girls, the brides, love this hairstyle. It's one of our more request uh, upstyling. You know, and if you have like more highlights or blonder, it's going to look more spectacular. Okay. It's fast and easy. Leo? You know, we have a very, very um, big surprise. We just come to the stage yesterday, to the, to the facilities, and we, are, uh, we see an ad uh, where they were selling books. And the cover of our, the cover of one of the books are our work, actually bridal, bridal work. So check that out. Uh, I don't know the name of the, uh, I don't remember the name of the. Uh, Inspire. Inspired, the, the books. And our work is in the, in the cover. I mean, it's, it's very nice to, uh, to see that. And we are, we in, in Chihuahua, Mexico, we are doing a lot of photo shoot for our work. And you can do it too, because I think everybody has nice clients, pretty, pretty girls, that they are crazy to do modeling without no charge, only the, the pictures. And, you know, just partnership with uh, a nice photographer, and you can get your, your portfolio of your work. Yes, one, one little trick to be sure that the upselling is going to last is to ask the model to shake a little bit to one side and to, to another. And if you see a piece that is like dancing, you know, like la la la, it's time to pump, okay? Always be sure that all the hair is in place before uh, I shake again a little bit. Okay, now we are done. We are going to finish with more Ultimate Control hairspray and shine, okay? Always. This shine is from our Miss Universe line, Spotlight. And as you can see, it really enhances the texture of the hair. And we're going to put another ornament, like right here, and then here. Okay, I think this, uh, this bride, she, she doesn't want the bail, okay? So who cares? Well, you like it? Thank you very much. As you can see, we are, we are doing different kind of up styles because uh, brides are different. Each woman is unique. We have a kind of uh, classification in our salon. We have like five different styles of brides. One is the natural brides. Then I can, uh, as I can tell you, my model, my first model, when when she began, you see soft wavy look. That uh, that is an example of a natural bride. She always want soft makeup, not too much color. Their personality are kind of, of shy personality, okay? And we have to always listen to the client because sometimes we, we you know, that Kim Kardashian is on trend, you know, and we want to transform all the girls. And sometimes we put a lot of makeup, a big, big hair, a lot of hair extensions. And when the client see, see her, her hair on the mirror, she starts crying. And, and it's not because it's not pretty is because it doesn't reflect her own personality. So you have to always pay attention to what is the personality of your client and 
create a, uh, upstyling and a makeup that reflects her inner beauty. Uh, for example, in, in Gabby, as you can see, she's a, a sophisticated bride. You know, she, you, you can look at her so self-confident, the smile, nice upstyling. It, it really reflects her, her personality. And in my last bride, I can tell that she can be a romantic, you know, like natural, messy hair, uh, soft well, oh, makeup. Maybe we can use a bride. She can get married in, in, a, in a garden, you know, on the beach is uh, different. And in my first model, in, in that kid, with that kind of hairstyle, she's a classic, you know, like elegant. Uh, she wants something, uh, a timeless makeup, a timeless uh, uh, upstyling, something classic that if you look at her picture through the past of the time, she's always looked perfect, timeless, okay? So they, uh, always listen to your client and try to put your client in classic, natural, romantic, sophisticated. And we always have also the, the kind of client that doesn't match any of those. It, uh, she doesn't follow any rules. She always breaks the rules. So it's the vanguard. We always have that, that, that one that, that wants a makeup like, you know, thick eye, eyeliner, uh, bright colors, a red uh, dress instead of a white one. Okay, so always put attention to that, and and uh, we hope uh, we hope you enjoy this show, and we will wait for you at Farouk booth. We will uh, share more upstyling tricks.